Hello and welcome to this video in which I'll explain some basic tips for navigating between worksheets within a workbook and then I'll show a macro which can be used to navigate between different sheets if you've got a very large number of sheets in an Excel workbook. So if you don't have too many sheets um, then you can typically just use these arrows on the bottom left over here to navigate between the different sheets. Uh, you can uh, repeatedly click the arrow to move further across or you can push control click to jump to the very far right or control click the left arrow to jump to the very far left. You'll also notice that when you have additional sheets off to the right you'll have an ellipsis on the right over here on the right end of the tab display area and when you've got additional sheets to the left you'll have an ellipsis on the left end. If you're somewhere in the middle and you've got uh, additional sheets on both ends, then you'll have an ellipsis on the left and you'll also have an ellipsis on the right. So that's pretty simple navigation between tabs. Most uh, people familiar with Excel can do that. Another way to navigate between tabs, which is slightly less well known, is if you right click in between the two arrows over here, Excel will bring up a list of sheets in the workbook. So you can see um, this is a workbook that I've made a whole um, a lot of extra blank sheets on just for demonstration purposes but you can scroll around here and you can uh, click a particular sheet sheet 21 for example click OK and it'll jump you to sheet 21 so the right click on the left at the bottom there between the two arrows is a good way to navigate if you have a large number of sheets one drawback with this though is that it does not list the sheets in alphabetical order but it only lists them in the order that they appear in the workbook so for example sheet FF over there it's just before sheet 36 so if I just cancel that you'll see that sheet FF if I can find it there it is it's kind of in the middle um, and it's in amongst a bunch of um, sheets beginning with the letter S so if you get a really large number of sheets then this tool uh, may not be perfect for you so one example I had where I was working with a Excel workbook with a very large number of worksheets was when an engineer who had been summarizing construction activity on a construction project that extended over many months had created a separate worksheet for each day and there were about 400 tabs in the spreadsheet some of them were for construction work done on a particular day some of them were other summary tabs um, summarizing um, labor used in a particular period or materials or things like that. So that was a, a workbook with a very large number of worksheets and the thing is they weren't in the, the tabs along the bottom were not in alphabetical order and um, so it wasn't always that convenient to use this box because the sheets were um, all in a mixed up order and I didn't want to have to go through reordering 400 tabs into an order that made sense to me but I wanted basically a better tool similar to this activate dialog box here but a better tool that uh, would list them in alphabetical order or regardless of what order the tabs were in on the bottom and would perhaps allow me to filter down in other words type in some letters that I knew were contained within the tab name and then it would filter down the the names um, so that's what I've built and I'll show you operation of that now so let me just cancel that then the shortcut that I've assigned to this macro is control s if you frequently use Control S for save, then you might want to assign a different shortcut, but I, I generally use the save icon up here and don't use Control S, so that's why I assign Control S to this macro. So um, what you can see is it brings up a, a dialog box over here. It's got them in alphabetical order. That's why FF is before any of the S's. It also um, tolerates numbers, and you can click Go, and it'll jump you to the sheet. So basically just Control S, uh, scroll down if necessary and um, this in this case is not really necessary but click the sheet you want to go to click go and away you go then if you want to um, narrow down because uh, you know that for example your sheet has an F on it you just come into this box up here type F and it'll narrow down and only list the sheets that contain the letter F I'll also demonstrate how if you add a new sheet to the workbook so I'll just go ahead and add a new worksheet quickly and I'll call this sheet 44, I'll call it uh, Fred and then if you run the macro again it'll automatically put Fred into the list of files and again of course if you search for F it's now going to show two hits and 
um, you can go to whichever sheet you want to. So what that demonstrates is that when the macro runs, it basically looks through the list of tabs and puts those into the list contained in the list box uh, available here that you can select from. And if you delete a sheet, of course, it'll also um, notice that when it does its listing and will not allow you to select a sheet obviously that doesn't exist. One other thing is that it will display hidden sheets in the list box and if you select a hidden sheet it'll make it visible and then take you to it. So for example if I hide sheet 36 so it's no longer visible and then I run the macro sheet 36 will be in the list and if I click go it'll basically take me to it and unhide it for that purpose. So that's basically operation of the uh, spreadsheet which I called the tab navigator spreadsheet um, as you can see up here. So there's a copy of the spreadsheet available for download through the description below and if you're starting a spreadsheet from scratch then if you use that template you will have the tab navigation tool built in. But your situation might be different. You may be dealing with a case similar to what I had where someone else gives you a spreadsheet that you have to review and their spreadsheet has many tabs that you need to navigate through but they built their spreadsheet in a different file which doesn't have the tab navigator built in. So I'll go ahead now and show you how you can export the tab navigation uh, macro from the spreadsheet available for download through the description below and import it into your spreadsheet that has uh, many tabs. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open a blank Excel workbook and I'm going to name it maybe target file because it's the target, so right now it's named book one. I'll save it as target, because it's the file that I want to put the macros in, and so this target file would essentially be your spreadsheet with many tabs in it. So I'll save that target file, and then the tab navigator file would be the source file that the macros are gonna be exported from. So what we'll need to do is uh, go Alt F11 to open up the Visual Basic Editor, just bring it down a bit here then um, there's actually three things that you're going to need to export the one thing you're going to need to export is going to be the module containing the macro code so i'm going to export file just bring it into here so i've made a folder called demo that also has the uh, spreadsheet in that i named uh, named target a few moments ago but i've now exported that file which is a .bas file, which is the module containing the Visual Basic code. I've saved that into the folder and you can see it's alongside target one. The other thing I'm going to want to have to save, it's going to be the form. So I'm going to export that file, which is the form file, because when we run the macro and it brings up the list box, that is a form. So I'm going to save that one. And then the final thing I need to do is there's actually a helper sheet built in called list of sheets hide. So I'm going to shut that down, go back to tab navigator, unhide the list of sheets hide file, which is the helper file. I'm going to take the tab name, put it on the clipboard, go back to the target file. I'm going to create a few sheets here because of course this uh, work workbook actually has hundreds of or at least tens of tabs that's why we want the tab navigator but I'm going to name one of those tabs list of sheets hide I'm going to go back to the tab navigator file and I'm going to go up here there's actually a bunch of workings on here this is where the listing happens there's a, a bunch of code over here as well you don't need to worry too much about the contents of the list of sheets hide worksheet but you can just copy it all so I'm going to select all the cells Click Control C to copy, go back to the target file, in my list of sheets hide file, select all, and then paste. And I've now successfully moved over the helper sheet from the source file to the target file. So I'm in target file here, I'll click save. Then I'm actually done now with my source file, tab navigator, so I'll shut that down. I won't save it. And then what I need to do is I need to open up the Visual Basic Editor in the target file. So Alt F11 to do that. Import the form file and import the macro code, which is the Visual Basic code. So I go File, Import File. In the demo, so let me first import the code, which is the .bas extension. So I click Open, and you'll see now it'll there, go to work, go to Sheet in Workbook Macro. 
So there it is, there's all the code. And then the other file I need to import is going to be the form file. So I'll do that. So you'll see there's the form. And that's the form that uh, looks somewhat familiar. All right, so that's done. So I can actually close down the Visual Basic Editor now. Might as well go ahead and hide this sheet because it's ordinarily supposed to be hidden. I'll maybe add a few more tabs here just so it gets demonstrated. And maybe I'll put a DDD tab, somewhat similar to the FFF tab we had in the uh, original spreadsheet. Um, so, moment of truth, let's go ahead and push Control S. And there it worked. I've got sheets 1, 2, 3, and 6. 1, 2, 3, 6, and DD. You can see that while the macro is running, the list of sheets hide actually is displayed. But then after we run the macro, it hides it again. So that sheet remains hidden at all times. So that's uh, basically um, the steps you need to follow to import the Visual Basic code, the form, and the helper sheet from the file available for download through the description below into your target workbook which has many tabs and then you'll be able to use the tab navigator uh, by pushing Control s um, filtering down if you want to and then clicking go all right hope that's helpful thanks bye